What's up YouTube fragrance family? Tommy with Studio Sins here. What in the world is going on with La Nuit de Lome Blue Electric? This brand new release for 2021. There's a lot of buzz, there's a lot of chatter going on online about this fragrance being discontinued. I wanted to take a few minutes today and talk to you guys about the fragrance itself. I've done a pretty comprehensive first impressions on the fragrance and I will list that to check that out, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about it. So when we return, we're gonna dig a little bit deeper, do a little bit more of a comprehensive review of the fragrance itself. That and more is coming your way, so stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. What's going on with Yves Saint Laurent? What's going on with YSL? And in particular, the La Nuit de Lome Blue Electric. As you can probably tell, I'll hold it up so that you can see, I've used one half, this is actually a 60 mil bottle and I've sprayed 30 mil on my neck, pulse points, arms. I love this fragrance. My wife really enjoys the smell of this fragrance on me. It is extremely close to smelling like the OG La Nuit de Lome or what some people call the vintage juice, the original formula, very close to this. It's more modern smelling. It's got a little bit more in the projection department, but it still carries that nice sweet cardamom lavender combination and it's just an epic scent. There has been some buzz going around lately, however, that the fragrance itself has been discontinued. So if you go to Google and you type in YSL La Nuit de Lome Blue Electrique, you'll see hits coming up like this one. Now that's ridiculous, especially when you can get a 50 or 60 mil bottle for around 60 to 70 dollars online. Or can you? That's the question. So what I did today is I called their customer service number for the United States, North America. I wanted to speak to someone and this was the result that I'll put up very briefly. Thank you for calling Yves Saint Laurent Beauty. To place an order, please say or press one. For questions, returns, or for training. I'm gonna place an order for or La Nuit de Lone Blue Electric if it's available, which it isn't. Please hold as we connect you to a beauty representative. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Saint Laurent It looked like that a particular fragrance that I was interested in is really scarce. Wanted to confirm that maybe it's been pulled or is even discontinued. It's called La Nuit de Lome Blue Electrique. Is that not no longer available? Uh what did you call it? Electric? A blue B L E U and then electric. E L E C T R I Q U E, I think. For men? Yes, for men. Uh, we do sell it. It's just out of stock. We sell the 2.0 for $76. Okay. This is not being discontinued? I wasn't told it was discontinued. We haven't received anything that said it's discontinued. It says uh, notify me. Notify me means put your email address in there and they'll tell you when it comes in. When it comes in. If okay. it's discontinued, it's, yes, sir, it'll just say out of stock and you can't be notified of it. And it's okay. not saying that. And it's not saying that. Okay. So that so that no, just sir. looks like it's temporarily out of stock and it will be replenished. It is correct. All right. I just wanted to double check. Thanks so much. Absolutely. And thank you for calling you, Senator. The young lady was very nice not to put anybody on the spot or anything. Even in her system, it showed that they're out of stock. So whether it is a supply chain issue as a result of the pandemic, you can go to the grocery store right now and you may not see your favorite soft drink. Uh, if you are a drinker of Cherry Coke, buy Coke. It's very hard to find in our area right now unless you want a two liter bottle. Whether it is a supply chain issue or whether there is a particular ingredient in the La Nuit de Lome blue electric formula that suddenly became very inaccessible or very expensive and they could no longer reproduce the fragrance at the cost that they originally launched it as that might be the case could be a temporary setback like the young lady the customer service agent said it could be a temporary stock situation you know they just don't have the inventory right now it was interesting though that she said that if it were discontinued it would say this but it doesn't say that it just says out of stock. It doesn't say unavailable. Does that really mean it's not discontinued though? I still have a question mark regarding that. I, I don't know. In the open, you've got bergamot, you've got cardamom and ginger. The dry down is bolstered by a dry, elegant vetiver. The cedar wood adds kind of a woody density to the nutty cardamom there. But again, this is a very cardamom rich fragrance, but the blue in the blue electric is just that modernized feel of the lavender. If I had to list the notes categorically by the greatest amount, I would say there's cardamom, 
then you've got lavender and ginger and those are the three dominant notes in blue electric and what really makes it so pleasant much better projection than the current release or the current batch of La Nuit de Lome. Although I still very much enjoy La Nuit de Lome, I've come to prefer La Nuit de Lome Blue Electric. So it's really a shame to think that this might be discontinued. It's not that it's getting bad press. It's not that people aren't buying it. In fact, again, if you look online, the price is being jacked up. People aren't jacking those prices up in anticipation of someone not purchasing it someone's going to probably buy it for whatever they're asking because again whether or not an official announcement is going to be made that this product is discontinued it is very much the, the chatter the buzz right now is that it's discontinued there's nobody to say hey this is not discontinued there's no definitive proof that it's not right so what are some trigger points to tell you that a fragrance is discontinued while we're talking about it okay so when you go out there to a discounter first thing that you'll notice is that no discounter has the fragrance if it's in their catalog it'll say temporarily out or you know put your email in there and we'll let you know when we've re-upped on the stock so all of the discounters are out then you go to the manufacturer's website or the, the design house website and it's not on their website not even a graphic of it that's usually the first tell is when you go to the manufacturer they go to the design house website and it's not anywhere to be seen that's usually means they've pulled that product from their lineup from future manufacturers. You know on Google when you can select all image shopping, another tell is when you Google that fragrance and you select shopping, people on eBay or Amazon and other media platforms like that are, are really asking a ridiculous price. That's usually when you can tell something is on the precipice of being discontinued or already has been, it's just not been officially announced yet. So I feel like that's probably the case, but I really hope we discover it's just a stock shortage, that it's a supply chain issue, that it's an ingredient issue, and they're going to need to modify the formula and re-release it. I don't know about you, but I'm going to really think in advance of actually just grabbing this up and spraying it whenever I feel like it, which is what I normally have been doing and why I'm sitting at only 30 mil of a 60 mil bottle. So I'm going to hold on to it for as long as I can, because I certainly don't want to pay an exaggerated price for what really is a, a great fragrance, a very solid designer fragrance. Hopefully, again, it's not discontinued. Only time will tell. If you go to yslbeauty.com and you they don't have a chat for whatever reason, they do on the clothing side of the brand, but they don't have chat for the beauty side, you can select contact us and you can send them a message and they'll get they'll respond typically within 24 hours, which is what I did today. So when I do get a response back from YSL Beauty, I will post it on the Studio Sense community board. That way you guys know what their official response is. I think one other YouTube reviewer talking about it being discontinued showed a post where uh, YSL purportedly wrote in that, hey, sorry, this fragrance has been discontinued. Could be accurate, could be found that it's not accurate. I wouldn't hang your hat on anything yet unless an official announcement has actually been set forth. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hopefully they'll take care of whatever issue currently exists for Blue Electric because if it is officially announced that it's been discontinued, that price is just gonna continue to increase People that own two or three bottles intended on selling it in the future are just going to be like, yes, our time is here. If you guys have any additional information or if you want to profit an, an idea or a theory of what you think is happening, please feel free to do so in the comments below. That's exactly what this video is all about. It's just we're speculating here. I'm not making any wet blanket statements, not making any assumptions. Just want to get your guys' thoughts on this and let me know if you feel like it's a fragrance that's worth continuing to manufacture or if it's okay to discontinue what are your thoughts on this let me know in the comments below well that's it guys for today's video thanks so much for stopping by and checking it out as always thank you so much for your support on my channel i'm tommy with studio sense and i'll see you tomorrow Bye.